The ASABE 39th Historic Landmark commemorates the development of mechanical systems to aerate stored grain. This technology is used worldwide to preserve quality of all grains stored in bulk. This development took place between 1930 and 1950 at four locations around the country. As wheat harvesting transitioned to combines, heating problems during storage due to respiration of storage fungi and the wheat itself caused it to become sour and musty within a few weeks. Grain stored through the winter months was frequently found to experience moisture migration, causing spoilage and loss of quality. The molding and crusting of grain due to moisture migration is evident in this bin. F.C. Fenton and C.O. Swanson at Kansas State University reported studies in 1930 that showed respiration heat and a small amount of moisture could be removed from stored grain by ventilation of the grain mass. This research was continued by Orville C. French in the course of his master's thesis research. Mechanical ventilation supplied by a roots blower was more effective than natural draft methods. It was able to cool the wheat and remove moisture. Development of aeration systems was addressed in the early 1940s by USDA agricultural engineers and cooperating agricultural engineering departments in Iowa, Indiana, Illinois, Minnesota, and Kansas. The researchers included William V. Huckel, located in Ames, Iowa, along with George H. Foster and R. N. Robinson at Purdue University. Tests on aeration of grain in steel bins revealed that mechanical ventilation during winter storage could completely eliminate the moisture migration problem and result in high quality grain as the bins were unloaded in the spring. Foster and Robinson started aerating grain in large horizontal grain storages in 1949. Later, Foster designed a 24-fan aeration system for a flat storage building holding 4 million bushels of corn in Kokomo, Indiana. Consulting agricultural engineer Merrill Todd designed the first aeration system for rice stored in vertical silos at Producers Rice Mill in Stuttgart, Arkansas. First used in the 1949-50 season, rice stored in these silos remained at a high quality and prevented damage caused by so-called stack burning. Plaques commemorating development of grain aeration have been dedicated at four locations. Seton Hall at Kansas State University, Davidson Hall at Iowa State University, the Agricultural and Biological Engineering Building at Purdue University, and the Stuttgart Agricultural Museum in Stuttgart, Arkansas. This ASABE landmark contribution is a critical component in maintaining an adequate year-round supply of quality grain to feed the world.